Hello viewers, welcome to Texta Diesel. In this video, we will discuss what is voltage and current. But before going to book is definition, let's understand this with a simple example. Let's assume there is a 10 storage building. I stay in 10th floor, you stay in ground floor. Now like every building, there is a water tank and the width of the pipeline is same. Now if I open the tap from the 10th floor and you open the tap from the ground floor, in which case speed of the water will be more. Now as I stay on the 10th floor, the height between overhead tank and the 10th floor tap is less than height between overhead tank and the ground floor tap. So speed of the water coming out from the ground floor tap is more than 10th floor tap. Now we can easily correlate the height between overhead tank and the tap with voltage and the speed of the water coming out from the tap with current. If I increase the height of the overhead tank or voltage, the speed of the water flow or current will be increased respectively. Now here you can see I have connected a battery with the bulb. You can see electron is flowing from the negative terminal of the battery to positive terminal through the bulb. And as electron is flowing through it, so it's emitting light. Now if I increase the voltage of the battery, what will happen? the rate of flow of the electron will be increased through the bulb and it will emit brighter light. Now same we can compare with the previous example. If we increase the height of the water tank from the tap, the speed of the water coming out from the tap will be increased. Like that if we increase the voltage then rate of flow of electron which is current will be increased. Let's do a practical experiment to observe this and then we can easily understand the bookie's definition of the voltage and current. Now in this experiment you can see I have connected a DC motor with the variable power source and we can measure the voltage and the current with the help of this two multimeter during experiment. Now here you can see as I have applied no voltage across the motor, no current is flowing through it. Now if I increase the voltage, you can see now I applied 4 volt across the motor and you can see the current reading is 20 milliamps. Now if I increase the voltage, you can see for 6 volt, I am getting the current reading is 24. For the 9 volt, I am getting larger current is flowing through it which is 30 milliampere. So as you can see. If I increase the voltage, current through the motor will be increased. Now if I reduce the voltage across the motor, current will also decrease through the motor. Now let's see, I am decreasing the voltage. You can see for 8 volt I am getting 28, for 5 volt I am getting 23 milliampere and the speed of the motor is also decreased from the previous as we are delivering less energy to the motor. Now what is the definition of the voltage? Now in simple word voltage is electrical potential between two points. The unit volt is defined as one joule potential energy per unit charge given in coulomb. You can see in the screen one volt equal to one joule divided by one coulomb. Now joule is a unit of energy which is defined as 1 joule equal to 1 newton meter. Coulomb is a unit of charge. 1 coulomb is equal to the charge on 6.24 times 10 to the power 18 electrons. Now when we talk about the electrical potential per unit charge, it means certain number of joule of energy is getting transferred per unit coulomb. Let's understand it with a simple example. If we connect 1.5 volt battery to a light bulb, then it means for every coulomb of charge, which is also charge of 6.24 times 10 to the power 18 electrons, 1.5 joule of energy are getting delivered to light bulb and converted into light and heat. Now as I have said earlier, current is a rate of flow of electron and its unit is ampere. Here 1 ampere means 1 coulomb charge is flowing per unit second and we have discussed earlier 1 coulomb is equal to charge on 6.24 
times 10 to the power 18 electrons so we can say 1 ampere is equal to 6.24 times 10 to the power 18 electron flowing through a certain point per second or 1 coulomb charge flowing through a certain point per second 2 ampere means 2 coulomb charge flowing through a certain point per second like that 3 ampere means 3 coulomb charges flowing through certain point per second let's go back to the experiment with the DC motor now here you can see as I have supplied no voltage across the motor so no current is flowing through it and the reading is zero now we are observing the current reading in milliampere scale here 1 ampere equal to 1000 milliampere so we have to divide the reading by 1000 to get the ampere reading now if I supply the voltage you can see now I have supplied 6.1 volt to the motor accordingly we are getting the current reading in milliampere if we convert this reading to ampere scale it will be 0 0.023 ampere now here what this 6.3 volt indicate from the definition we have seen 1 volt equal to 1 joule divided by 1 coulomb so we can say we are delivering 6.3 joule of energy to the motor per unit coulomb charge flowing through it now if I increase the voltage you can see now it's 8.5 volt now you can say we are delivering 8.5 joule of energy to the motor per unit coulomb charge is flowing through it now come to current reading now if I convert this current which is 27 milliampere to ampere then it will be 0 0.027 ampere so from the definition of the current we can say it indicate 0 0.027 coulomb charge is flowing per second through this motor as for 1 ampere 1 coulomb charge is flowing through that motor now if I increase the voltage current will also increase now it's 30 milliampere which is 0 0.03 ampere so it indicates 0 0.03 coulomb charge is flowing through that motor per second now we can easily calculate how much power this motor is consuming by multiplying these two now we all know the unit of the power is watt which is joule per second so if I multiply voltage with current we will get joule per second so if I multiply 9.3 with 0 0.03 ampere then we will get 0.27 watt right now the power consumed by the motor is 0.27 watt I will discuss in more details about the power or watt in next video I hope you have understood what is voltage and what is current and what is the difference between voltage and current now if you find this video helpful please hit a like button and share this with your friends don't forget to subscribe the channel for more such videos thank you for watching have a great day